Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More questions coming at you from the Ask Golf Guru app, different to the Golf app, two different channels. This is the Q&A channel you're on. Hello, I'm the same person on both, but they're two different channels. We've got a question here coming from Leicester about lie angle, I think, in clubs. So how the club with his lied. Let's get stuck in. So hi Mark, just purchased a set of MP54s. When I hit on a lie board, it showed that I need clubs that are two degrees flat. I'm wondering if that will cause me to notice any difference as far as the direction of my ball flight. I'm currently using tailor-made TP cavity backs in standard lie. I'm a 12 handicap player, so I miss my share of greens, and I'm wondering if I should expect to see any difference by changing to a club with the correct lie angle for me. Thanks for all your help you give already given me and everyone else. Let's get stuck in, Lester. Great question, Lester, and a great let's get stuck in at the end there. Um, good question. Uh, obviously, two degrees flat from one manufacturer might mean something very different from another. So that's lots of people say, "Oh, I'm two degrees flat," but what does that mean? I mean, I'm different in a Titleist than I am in a Mizuno to a TaylorMade because their ideas of standards are different. So that's the first thing to bear in mind. The second thing to bear in mind is strike boards can be slightly misleading. I know most fitters are out there using them. I don't use lie boards. I've got a machine that helps me see lie without the lie board. Lie is permanently changing as you hit a shot. So if you imagine, if I'm coming in to hit a ball at this stage when I've not quite hit it, the toe is way off the ground, it's not coming in level with the ground. If I was to hit the ground at that point, so hit the ground early, then those lie marks are going to be different, aren't they? You're going to get kind of heel-based ones, possibly. So lie is permanently changing, which is where lie boards, I think, are a little bit dangerous. Lie boards are often set above the mat as well, that's a degree or so, <coughs> Excuse me, which will affect the lie. I'm not saying you've got the wrong lie, let's pretend you've got the right lie, two degrees flat in a Mizuno is better for you. Arguably, you will see a slight difference in ball flight with a different lie. When I custom fit and used to custom fit a lot, I would never tell people what lie I'm giving them because they can adjust and do adjust to the club. Um, so then on that question, that argument, you could use any club, you would just have to adjust to it. Even if you don't know how to, you will work it out, you'll work out a way of hitting target. People will deliver the club in a way around the lie if you give them enough shots. For me, I like to have my club set up in the way I, so I am two degrees flat in a Mizuno, um, and that builds around my club delivery. And then for me, I don't have to think about any other numbers. I can just swing at that ball and deliver. I don't have to think. So if, as soon as I pick up another manufacturer's standard when I'm too flat in a Mizuno, you know, I've been at tightless fitting centres with them, testing clubs, and the iron's just going left all the time, and I feel like I'm hitting it pretty good. And then we look at the lie, and you can see that it's, it's definitely a little bit towed up, or quite a lot towed up, which is making it hard for me to find target. As soon as they give me a lie that fits more into, say, the Mizuno lies I'm used to, I find target without thinking about it. When they give me the upright club, I actually start trying to find target. I aim further right, I point the face further right, I make a slightly different delivery to try and start the ball down the right, because I know it's going to turn more to the left. Um, so it's about getting used to your equipment and playing around it, and then also trying to... Uh, understand and then <coughs> excuse me have the confidence to then just deliver those numbers the lie will make a difference it's a minimal difference but it'll make a difference um, and for me peace of mind from having a lie that I think makes me hit target more often than with a different lie is everything so absolutely if it's going to make your handicap come down well I could hit every iron into six foot if I don't hold one of those I'm not going to get below scratch my so there's many more elements to this game. Lie is one minuscule element of the many puzzles that are in golf, but I like to just tie in any of the little elements so I can just think about the bigger elements, hitting target, um, holding more putts, chipping it closer, hitting more greens, those kind of things. If Lie's going to do that for me, I reckon I could hit the same amount of greens with any Lie club. I would just have to practice a lot with different ones to work out what kind of movement I'm going to make with each one. Hope that helps. Thanks for posting. Good for getting custom fit. And as you know, as you mentioned, they're lovely clubs. You'll enjoy them. Just trust the line, get out there and swing and, and hit some more greens. You'll, you'll play some better golf. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, 
find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.